we're flipping things around today. Today, instead of you asking and I answer, I will ask, and what you do will be your answer. And the ask I'm asking you to do is to grab the new book. This is AI for Marketers, the second edition. Here's what's in it for you. This is a book that was completely rewritten. It originally started as um, a series of blog posts, actually. Uh, my uh, friend Anne Handley had asked, hey, can you simplify AI a little bit um, for average folks? And I wrote a book a couple of years ago. And over the holidays, went back, uh, was going to revise it and edit it and update it. And <laughs> I'm like, ooh. So hit select all, hit delete, and start it over. This is the start it over. What's in it for you is explanations of artificial intelligence, specifically around machine learning uh, for marketers, including five practical applications, the, the five major uh, techniques that you can use uh, machine learning to solve for, such as untapped data that you've just got laying around, uh, unclear data where you're not sure what's important. Uh, and there's a whole range of problems here, but one thing I want to focus on is helping you understand and ask better questions, especially vendors. A lot of vendors in the marketing space are slapping the AI moniker on everything. Uh, someone called it AI washing and someone else very cutely called it brainwashing with the AI capitalized. And when you look at all their claims, when you look at... Uh, that they say, hey, we've got a artificial intelligence inside our product. Cool. What kind? And they may be able to give you a pat answer and say, explain to me what kinds of problems this thing solves and how it uses machine learning to solve it. In this book, you will learn the four major mathematical kinds of problems that machine learning solves. Uh, yeah, regression, clustering, dimension reduction, and association, and categorization. Um, these four types of problems are problems that marketers run into. So regression problems are mathematically, uh, I have a series of numbers that I, I know I want as the outcome. What numbers have a relationship to that number? So if you've got, for example, conversions in Google Analytics, and you want to know all the other things like bounce rate and time on page and number of sessions, which one of those has the strongest mathematical relationship to the thing you care about? That's a regression problem. In another example, Suppose you have uh, unclear sets of data you, you, and you want to see the relationship between types of uh, data points. For example, uh, suppose you ha are looking at customer data and you're looking at recency, frequency, and value of customers. How do, if you were to plot a, a customer and the, on those three dimensional data points and you could see different, you would see different groups of clusters or clusters of, of customers appear in this three dimensional graph. You obviously want to focus first on uh, the high value customers and then start to take the lower value customers and, and nudge them up to being higher value customers. That's a clustering problem. So in this book, you'll learn these different major problems on how AI solves them. There is no code in this book, none, zero. Uh, and the reason for that is that, oh, again, over the holidays, one of the things that occurred to me was that asking a marketer to become an AI practitioner. It's kind of like asking a marketer to become a professional chef, right? You and I don't need to be professional chefs to know what good food is and to know how to ask for it or know where to go for it. We just know that there are people who, for whom that is their specialty. We, as the educated consumer, can decide what we like uh, and what techniques a chef uses maybe, <clears throat> but we're not gonna open our own restaurants. The same is true of artificial intelligence. It is unrealistic, unfair, and and probably silly to ask a marketer, particularly a really good marketer, to become an artificial intelligence specialist. There are people who do that. There are people who, who can take your data and turn it into uh, incredible, impactful results. So let's let them do that, and let's instead focus on how can marketers ask better questions to identify who those good people are and who the people who are not as qualified uh, are. Now, that's not to say you should just abandon all math. By no means. You, know, you still should learn how to use things like Google Analytics. But for machine learning and artificial intelligence, uh, the book will instead help you to get an understanding of the landscape, the concepts, learn the key concepts, learn the big questions to ask, and 
there is a chapter in here at very, towards the very end called the down the rabbit hole that if you do want to dig in and, and play with these tools, you absolutely can. There's a whole list of courses and books and things that, that I recommend that many of which are free that you can use if that's something you want to do. But this point, which is one I think that is a useful one for everyone who reads the book to get is you don't have to. You don't have to become a machine learning expert. Machine learning will find its way into all the products you use. You just have to figure out how to ask to have it applied to the types of problems you're trying to solve. So the uh, electronic book, the ebook, is on, if you go to AIformarketersbook.com. If you want the paper one, the paper one is available on Amazon. It is more expensive because you know, you're chewing up an actual tree. Um, so for environmental purposes, just go to go to AIformarketersbook.com and, and get the, uh, the slightly less environmentally damaging one. But instead of you ask, I answer, I ask, please uh, give the book a look. Grab a copy. If you want to be able to ask better questions about the use of artificial intelligence in marketing, and thank you for your support. Want help solving your company's data analytics and digital marketing problems? Visit TrustInsights.ai today and let us know how we can help you.